fishing family what is going on it is a beautiful morning out here in the keys it's day two for me and erica out here and we are on a boat today we're going to be doing some fishing for all kinds of fish i'm not going to ruin it because i want the surprise to be for you guys to know i'm back here with captain jim from mile marker 27 fishing charters make sure you check out his fishing charter i'll leave the link in the description now if you're enjoying this content we have been putting out from the keys Thank you guys. Make sure you check out the video from yesterday. We did some bridge fishing and it was really fun, but I'm not gonna talk much. We're just gonna get right into the fishing. So I'll explain what we're doing throughout the video, how we're doing it and stay tuned. You can buy them or you can just get a kid's bat That's and cut it and make it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty genius guys. Yeah. So what you're seeing him do right there is he has a kid's bat, cut it in half. He's taking the chum. Obviously, there's all, everyone down here chums. If you haven't seen any videos from the Keys, a lot of people down here use chum because it brings all the little bait fish, which in turn brings the big fish. So that's what he's doing. He's just throwing chum. We have a chum bag in the water and we're about to get to fish in here. Some cut ballyhoo guys. We're just going to put it on. I'll put mine right next to that. What they do is they will rub their oh. Oh yeah. There you go. Awesome. 15, 16 incher right there. All right, guys. So we got a nice little 16 inch mangrove snapper, really pretty fish. We're gonna throw him in the cooler, have some mangrove snapper for dinner. Good fish there, nice one. Swing oh, to the right. Oh, mangrove. Right there's good. That's a solid one, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, you're a fat boy. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish there. All right, guys, so we just caught this nice mangrove here at a mile marker 27. Well, Doing a great <laughs> charter here. <laughs> so Captain Jim actually just informed us that you see the white, depends on what bottom they come from, which makes a lot of sense. When they come from the sandy bottom, they want to blend in with their environment. So get a good pull. Huge snapper. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's good. There we go. Getting bigger. All right. So got another nice mangrove snapper. Look at that. That one's about 16 inches. Now Captain Jim is hooking us up with a mangrove. So make sure you check him out. The link will be in the description. And we're gonna keep fishing, guys. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you just want to snap that out there. Oh, I did it. I snapped it. Oh, I think it's a better fish there. There we go. Swing him to the right. Yeah. Keep your right tip up. Nice Swing him to the right. Oh. I'm gonna I'm right here anyways. It's a little. I watched him use a bonnet head as bait too on that same video. A little mangrove. Hold on. Perfect. I needed a little shark. This is exactly what I got. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You got it. All right. I'm not going to pick him up or anything. I'm going to show him. Little bonnet head. All right, guys. Ooh. <laughs> it ain't ready. <laughs> hey, but yo, I got it on video. <laughs> yeah, right there, the squeeze, I usually go like. Wild. Easy. Easy, easy. Alright. Cody, I'm gonna have you yeah. take that hook out of him while I got him, if you yep. wouldn't mind. 
we go. Boy. All right. All right, man. So you see, first bonnet head. I've never actually caught a decent size one. We've caught some small ones, and yeah, we're gonna let them go, get them back in the water because they breathe in the water. So. Don't bring him. Nope. Swing him to the right. Oh man, look at that thing. It's okay. Right Come here, babe. I'm looking. Oh. oh. Look it's, at you. It's a giant needlefish. Yeah. Kind of foul hooked him. That is wild looking. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I'm gonna show him And this is called a That's called a hound fish. Hound fish. Yes. It's gnarly. Fish. Look at it. Bunch of gnarly. Fish. Look at this thing, guys. Called a hound fish. Just yeah. doing some cool jumps. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, man. Okay. Ballyhoo head looks like. If you don't know, big needles on their head. Great bait down here. It's crazy how it gets like stuck in that grass. Oh, that's a fish. That's crazy. That is yep. Got him. Right, that's good fish. Alright, Erica's on too. <laughs> Got doubled up. Yeah, I'm really surprised all the jumping, splashing, no sharks come after him. Oh, mangrove. I got a black line on his eye. Yeah, yours, nice. is, big, yours is bigger than mine. Good yeah, sometimes you'll hear people call them bandits because it looks like they have a mask on. As you can see, got the one ounce egg weight, got the little bead, swivel, probably 20, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, and probably, well, probably four or five circle hook. We're going to just chuck that out and see what happens. Smallest one of the day, I would say. No, that's a still keeper. He's barely hooked. Oh, just by the skin of his teeth. I barely had any bait and barely had him hooked. It's hot out here. It's definitely not uh, the ideal time to come to the Keys. I, I just kind of booked it spontaneously and here I am. But we're going to do some more fishing, so let's see what we can catch. I don't think so. He's good though. Good little fight. Yeah, he's trying though. He's fighting it. <laughs> he's trying his best. Throw everything everywhere. <laughs> You have a clean boat? All right, guys. Well, that is mangrove fry number 20, but we are at our limit, so we're not going to keep him. We're going to let him go, let him grow, even though he looked good in that grease, but it's okay. Keep the fishery for the next generation. All right, so we made it back to the truck. And I do have Captain Jim's business card right there, as you can see. Make sure if you guys enjoyed the video and you're down in the Keys, to hit him up now unfortunately we are down here to be doing a tarpon charter trip but i have talked to about six captains and right now in the florida keys they have broken a world record for the water temperature the water temperature world record before was 99.6 today's water temperature was 101 that is insane every single captain has basically told us that hey like our bite has been different because of this heat which i completely understand fortunately this trip is not over we still have two days in the keys and i still have four days in sebastian there are tarpon in sebastian so this trip is not over and i still may get that tarpon that we're out here for but overall i had a good time i had a great time we have a lot of mangrove snapper for dinner we yeah if you can lift the bag up for you there you go we got a full bag it was an insane mangrove snapper bite today it was a good day so if you guys enjoyed that we're not done yet 
We appreciate Captain Jim for hooking us up. Not only did he clean the fish, he put it on ice in a really cool bag and did all that for us. But now Erica, Chef Erica I should call her, is gonna be cooking us up some mangrove snapper for lunch to finish this video off. So I'll have her take over and talk and let, let's see what she's gonna cook us. So. All right. So we have our mango snapper pre-cooking in the sun right now. We've got some Cajun choice blackening. We've got some uh, two-step Cajun right here, you know. Uh, some garlic powder and some basil. We're about to toss it up on there. We also don't have any butter right now, so we're using bacon grease from last night. So it's gonna be extra good. So we're sprinkling on the blackening Cajun. Got some basil. I'm gonna do this one lightly. Some garlic powder. Yeah. All right, so we got our Cajun two steps here. Got all our flavors. Yeah, get that on there real nice. Gotta have a lot of flavor. Yeah. All right, give me one second. I'm gonna pat it in a little bit, flip them over. Mmm, -mm, this smells good already. And maybe the bacon grease. All right, so we're gonna re-season all this back here. Then we're gonna put it on the grill and we're gonna start cooking. All right, so everything is seasoned and buttered up with some good baking grease. Mm. We're gonna put that on there, let that cook for a little bit. Look how good that looks. It's not quite done, so we're gonna come back out in a few more minutes. This fish is done. Oh man, so done. Look at that, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and turn all this off. We're just going to pull it straight off of there and onto the taco. All right, so you take your Philadelphia cream cheese, a good goop of it, and you rub it in. Oh, yeah. Nice. And then I take, I build my tacos backwards. So I put all my toppings on first. Put my cheese on. We're gonna take our taco sauce. If you don't have this taco sauce, get this taco sauce. Mmm. All right. Now I'm gonna take my snapper directly from the fire spot, from the grill. Oh, it's kind of stuck. Look how good that is. Delicious. It is so hot. All right. Mmm, my goodness. It smells so good. Here goes our first bite. This side has more fish. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Fabulous, 100%. We do have fish tacos. We got some rice that we made inside. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed Erica cooking. And yeah, if you did, make sure you click that like button. If you're back for another video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell. Know when I release more of these down south videos. And tonight we are gonna be fishing the bridge that we fished yesterday for tarpon, for permit. So tune into the next video. See you next time. Bye. We took off. Whoa! Keep going, just let them run. So we're on a tarpon right here. Cody went down there. I can show it to you, but I'm holding this tarpon up here. I'm coming. Keep them up. <sighs> they were finning right by me. I looked back and you got a tarpon jumping. He's right here. Keep walking this you way. got him? Yeah, we're walking over here. We're in water. You got him? My, yeah, I got him. Go around the rod. You're going to have to pop your...